guys, it's Liv. Today I have another what I ate today video for you. About a month ago, I decided to put all of my recipes onto my website so that it would be easy for you guys to find individual recipes. All of the recipes from this and all of my other YouTube videos will be on my website, livebee.ca. Like I've mentioned before, I host my website on Squarespace. So a bit later in this video, I'm going to show you how I add the recipes to the recipe section. And then at the end of the video, I'll go a little bit more into detail how I actually made the recipe section because I got a lot of questions of people asking how I did it. So if you're interested, stay tuned for that. But that is everything I have to say for now. Let's get into the video. I started the day with some warm lemon water and then I moved on to breakfast. So while I was doing this, I actually was cooking a sweet potato in the microwave and then I chopped up some cremony mushrooms and spinach. And then I added those to a frying pan on medium heat with some oil and added the sweet potato, some pepper, paprika, and basil and stir fried that for about five to six minutes. I added the spinach when there was about one minute left just so that it didn't get too soggy. On the side, I had some whole wheat toast with slices of avocado and I added some salt onto everything and then a little bit extra black pepper. Here, I'm just taking a picture of my breakfast to put on my blog. So I'm putting on to you, to you, to you. So I'm holding on to you, to you, to you. So I'm holding on to you, to you, to you. So I'm holding on to you, to you. On this day, Bridget came over yet again. <laughs> we made some tofu bowls. So to do this, we just cut up some firm tofu and pressed it a little bit with a paper towel just to get all the excess moisture off. Then we cut it into some rectangles and added those to a baking sheet with some parchment paper. To make them crispy, we just sprayed on a little bit of olive oil. For the sauce, we used some tahini and this ginger soy sauce that I bought from a store, but you could also just do a mixture of some soy sauce, maple syrup, lime juice, and ginger. I will have a little recipe for that below. We added a little bit of water to thin it out. We steamed some veggies. We just did broccoli, bell peppers, and snow peas. Once the tofu was in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, we just added a little bit of the sauce on top and then put it back in for another five minutes. To serve this, we had some black and white quinoa and the steamed veggies and then topped it with the tofu and some extra sauce. It was absolutely delicious. First, start by boiling your favorite type of pasta. And then back into the same pot, I added some of this creamy butternut squash soup. This one's actually vegan, it doesn't contain any dairy. And then I put the pasta back into the pot and added some shredded vegan cheddar. If you can't find vegan cheese at your store, you can add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Then I just added some black pepper and a little bit of paprika and let that cook until the cheese was melted and everything was a bit thicker. And then again, when there was about one minute left, I just added some spinach into the pot. Then I served it up with some of this nutritional yeast topping. It's bacon and roasted tomato flavor, but it's soy bacon, not meat bacon. As I mentioned at the beginning, I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail on how I actually changed my website to add the recipe section, and I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to do with Squarespace. So all I did to add the recipe section was click to add a new page, and I clicked blog page, and then I just named it recipes, and started adding my posts. So I added them one by one, um, just like this, and then I just pressed publish and each post went onto that new blog page. So this is what it actually looks like now with all the posts. 
And then I also just wanted to show you how I did the search. So I clicked edit the intro block and then I clicked the little menu thing and when it popped up I clicked on a search so it inserted this search block. As you can see you can use it to search the blog page that you just created. If you guys are interested in making your own website with Squarespace I actually have a discount code so you can use this code here or click the link in the description box below and that will give you 10% off your first purchase and a free trial. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always if you haven't already be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time.